Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Yes, okay. It definitely seems like we have a full class today. This is exactly what I want to see. Mtokozis, please come through, my boy. Mtokozis, my top achiever. I definitely trust this boy. Mtokozis, boy, take this key. Lock that door. Yes, guys. No one is leaving today. Mtokozis, lock that door. No one is leaving today or actually this lesson until we understand or until we can actually sing rural to urban migration. All right, Mtokozis, as you come through, please write me the definition. I want to check if these kids definitely made my homework. Did you make my homework? It seems like you have a full class today. Let me check through. Chifta, Chifta, Zin. Uh, San Monan. Uh -huh. uh, I need all. It is very easy. You just say it is the movement of people from rural to urban areas. Okay, Minia. Yes, Nyabong at last. Ay, 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 ay. Yabona, guys. Ni fela maganj. Monga pega le handwriting le gam togozis. Na le handwriting yam. It doesn't mean, okay, upalile, it is the correct definition. Angaz no gutu pali ganjan. I'm sorry, guys. Let me wipe the. Guys, ni fela. Palanga, she man. Palanga. She ni tisuma ke ganjan. Ama paipa ye nun pala so. Okay, let me wipe ye, man. Alright, as Umtogosi said, it is the movement of people from rural to urban areas. Very simple definition. And the more palegange, definitely you are getting that mark. Or oh, even two marks. This is beautiful. Neat. Alright, guys. And in this video, we are here to definitely understand only two, maybe three. We might actually do another extended lesson because of we know geography when we learn about geography it tells us the causes the effects and also the management right but then i think in this video i want us to look at the causes and the consequences of rural to urban migration all right guys when we are looking at the causes looking at the causes we only have to look at two factors the push factor and the pull factor the push factor definitely explains itself you are being forced out of your settlement right it is a forcing situation yeah like a situation it's either forcing you so what situation can actually force you to move to the urban areas so our first problem it is lack of investment we know that the government usually doesn't actually invest whether doesn't invest whether when it comes to business wise or even the subsistence farmers they are not given any money to continue sustaining their subsistence farm right there's lack of investment from the government right so people are now forced to move from their land like i cannot sustain myself this farm is no longer a uh, i uh, my family is now it, it, it's it's more i have uh, more kids now this farm is no longer sustaining me my grandmother and everything like that i'm no longer ma making money so this is forcing me it's a situation that forces me to move into the urban areas then uh, there was second one it is few jobs and even lower wages we know in the rural areas there are few jobs and because of why it only focuses it mostly focuses in what we call primary sectors and definitely not everyone loves farming not everyone wants to see themselves doing forestry cutting down trees and stuff like that no not everyone it doesn't mean that when you are a man now you are you definitely have to love these kind of manly jobs not everyone definitely and even worse when you are doing those kind of jobs the pay is not even on the highest because of those are risky jobs but then the pay it is definitely bad so that would definitely push you to try and find some better paying jobs Definitely, guys. Then, uh, the third one, lack of services such as schools, hospitals, uh, clinics, right? We know that there are lack of services. So, okay, guys. So, let's make an example. There are rural areas around an area. There must be a specific rural town which will be able to deliver on services that these rural areas cannot actually deliver on. Services such as uh, doctors, hospitals, and clinic. So, that area, it is called the service center right it is a, a, a small rural town which 
uh, supports the surrounding rural areas, right? Definitely makes sense. So definitely we don't need to, so you have to go, uh, the services are not, uh, there's a lack of services. Their services are not around your area. You have to go to that service center and it's definitely taxing. So the, the fourth one has to be decrease in soil quality. Definitely we are living with, uh, let, let, let me speak about the people that are living in the rural areas. I said they rely mostly in primary sectors, meaning planting, right? Meaning uh, subsistence farming. So farming is definitely number one. Agriculture is leading number one when it comes to the rural areas. So if the soil is no longer on the, its highest quality, maybe there was flooding, right? And, and removal of a fertile soil and then like drought, there's no longer water to keep the soil fertile, right? You, so you see those things that can make soil to actually lose its fertility. Obviously, if you can no longer... Uh, plant vegetation where you are currently located you rather relocate let's leave all right and then the fifth one the fifth one has to be natural disaster drought floods already explained if there was oh, this drought why are you still there if maybe your house have been there was a flood your shelter was definitely removed it is definitely a pushing factor you have to leave that area and try to find safer places maybe the urban area has safer places but then we know about the urban area and a lot of infrastructure right we have a lot of infrastructure meaning floods are more predominantly are going to happen in the in the urban areas but then that is not a topic for today now we are just speaking about the push and pull then the sixth one it is the extreme physical condition maybe the sun too much sun the climate or maybe too much cold right that is or or what can i say the mountains right if you want to go to a, another city like where i'm located if i want to go to maybe Pramfisha, i have to cross i have to up a town i have to walk up a town and down before i can reach another area so definitely those hard physical condition can push people to be like no i no longer want to walk kilometers before i find whatever service i'm looking for okay guys then definitely poverty and starvation can force people to leave and try to find better quality of life definitely we we want to live long we want to live healthier so we might try to definitely move so poverty starvation can also be a push factor then the pull factor we know geography if you definitely know the push factors the pull factor will be definitely the easiest so definitely wide range and a variety of jobs we know there's and there's secondary sector, tertiary sector, quaternary sector, meaning there's a variety of job opportunities in the urban area. Educational opportunities, oh my goodness, there's a, there are varsities, lot of schools, and definitely that can pull people to be like, I want better uh, educational opportunities, there are colleges there, there's, I want, right, those can be pulling factors. And also well-developed medical and health centers. Guys, we want to live a longer and healthier life. So you definitely want to have a well-developed healthcare near you. Whenever you feel sick, you can be able to go and be tested and definitely be fixed or be medicated or diagnosed. I don't know those words, guys. I'm not teaching life science. I, call, I quit teaching life science. There's this guy that's definitely killing life science in youtube i cannot say his name <laughs> hopefully you do know his name all right guys so definitely more industrial jobs uh, more industrial jobs guys and definitely higher wages we know that there are a lot of secondary sectors there's a lot of manufacturing happening in the urban area the industrial jobs like that and obviously we have small industries and big industries we know those things small industries such as your bakery and right because of this electricity it's easy to have what we call uh, uh, what we call industrial jobs it's easy to have industrial jobs because of there's electricity all over the urban area and then definitely the fourth one it is better entertainment who doesn't want to live a joyful life like what the heck you are at the rural areas even just using a phone the network is bad definitely 
it is definitely not entertaining at all you can't find that oh the mt was performing oh my goodness the network is not there but then here you can actually be able to go to that concert right you can actually be able to go to that concert it is nearby maybe your area right so definitely more reliable sources of food definitely we know that in the even area there are a lot of uh, shops registered shops malls so those are reliable food source right we can definitely find food we know when you go to a mall and that is, is registered company definitely meaning the quality checks are there and stuff like that so quality food source is on its highest in the urban area and who doesn't want to live a much healthier life so that will be the pulling factor for people in the rural areas and the last one surely you do not see it improved standard of living and also improve standard of living definitely we want to improve our standard of living we can't be living a poor lifestyle for i don't know until we die no way and definitely uh, improve health wise right and definitely definitely these are the causes guys and when we come to the consequences definitely not sure if we'll be doing them today hopefully yes let me check how long this video has definitely taken us why because of you have to be liking this video subscribing to my channel why because of close-up education is definitely going to be breaking settlement and we are coming to that economic geography never be scared i've heard a lot of cry of settlement so i was like why not just complete the whole thing okay guys